Hello, uh, this is the first lecture of EMT triple two three real analysis. Before we go to the math content, let me say something, uh, some formalities about the exams and all. So, so firstly timings. So we we meet three times a three days a week. Uh, we meet on Monday, Thursday, and Friday. So uh, as of now, Monday timing is eleven thirty to twelve thirty. Thursday is uh, ten thirty to eleven thirty, and Friday is five thirty to six thirty. So uh, all these three will be. Uh, Live sessions, and uh, yeah, there is some attendance per, uh, rule is also there. You need to attend uh, sixty percent of these live sessions to to be eligible to write exams. That that's what I understand. That's what I was told yesterday. So that that's about timings and attendance. Now there are two TAs for for this course. First person is Doctor Vivek. And the other one is Doctor uh, Saibal. So I'll mention about their email IDs in the when the email IDs are already in the Google Classroom. So you can send an email to them if you have any questions. You can send an email an email to any of us, me, Vivek, or Saibal. So that's about TA and uh, yeah about the grading policy. So the, the so the grading for this course is divided into four parts: ten percent, twenty percent, thirty percent, forty percent. This twenty percent is for assignments. So there will be six assignments. Uh, I, I'll give one assignment for each two weeks. You are supposed to submit maybe in a, in a three four, after three four days. One say one say submit give the assignment. Uh, sheet you need to submit within three four days. So there will be at most five questions in each assignment. I'll try to make it uh, less, but I'm not promising anything now. I mean, it depends on on the on the uh, on the requirement. Yeah, so that's about assignment. This thirty percent is for mid semester, and forty percent for the end semester. Now this ten percent, this this I am calling as this viva part. So this ten percent uh, of the of the grading, this the whole point comes into picture only when you submit at least one third of the assignment problems. Suppose I am giving five assignment problems for each uh, in each assignment. So six times five is thirty. I think that is correct. So one third is ten problems. So if you submit at least ten problems. Out of these thirty problems, then this viva part comes. In the viva part, I'll be asking exactly two questions out of whatever you submitted. If you are able to explain whatever you have written, or or if you can explain the solution for those two problems, that you will get ten percent of the marks for the total grading for the final grading. So that's about the viva. So this we are planning to uh, keep in maybe the end of April. Sometimes it will be one. Uh, it will be one to one. I mean, it will be only you and me. Uh, in, in the Google Meet, we will we, we'll, we'll fix some time, depending on what is suitable. It 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 will last maybe for five minutes. In five minutes, you are about you are supposed to explain two questions, two solutions to me, and that's all. That that give you ten percent of the final grading. Now about the references. I am not following any a single book for this course. There are a couple of books that I like, and and I I I usually refer to them. So th that I am showing it to you now. Okay, so the first reference is uh, this Limayan uh, Gorpade's book, uh, Course in Calculus and Real Analysis. This is Springer edition. So for now, I am following this book. This is this. Maybe after some time, this, I will not follow this. I'll follow something else, but for now, I'm following this book, uh, along with the the book by Kumarasen and uh, Ajit Kumar. Yeah, so this is the book, basic course in real analysis, Ajit Kumar and Kumarasen. 
so these are the two books that i'm following now i mean in this week or in the next week the, the other books that i like are this books uh, charles pucks real mathematical analysis uh, all these links i'll be mentioning in the in the course web page and also in the youtube uh, link the other book is uh, george mathematical analysis part 1 uh, and for the metric phases i suggest this book by satesh shirale and uh, harikrishna uh, vasudeva this is downloadable freely downloadable in the i think it's downloadable for for everybody uh irrespective of whether you are an instructor instructor or not so this is freely downloadable so and the one more book that i suggest to check if you can get access somewhere is this dellinger's uh, analysis elements of analysis by charles dellinger so these are the textbooks that i suggest if you get opportunity to see i suggest you to check that i i don't suggest you to buy any book for this course uh, because i'm not following any any uh, single book I mean on your personal int- interest you can buy buy any of this all of these are very good but if you are thinking about the course i suggest you to just uh, follow the notes that i that i'll be giving i i'll let take the notes and i'll give it to you i'll also send this notability file uh, to everybody i think that should be sufficient with assignments also i'll, I'll be giving uh, so that should be su- sufficient to to appreciate the so what to appreciate what is happening uh, now the, the the other reference uh, the the other set of references are there is an art, there is a there is a series of articles by professor kumaresan it's it's in the mtt's web page you can see there are 218 articles these are all short articles okay, couple of pages so not everything is related to real analysis but uh, i'm sure most of them are uh, related for the for your discrete structure structures course or for a group theory course so so the, this is one one set of references that i i suggest you to one web page that i suggest you to check and and there is this journal by indian academy of sciences it's called resonance you can check the web page also there are it's a, it's a monthly journal uh, if you can click this volumes and uh, issues you, you, you can see i think it's it's available for everybody freely available uh, so, so i got benefited by by reading some of the articles in this from this resonance it's interesting uh, it's uh, suitable for bsc first second years maybe for third years also so so you can have a look at this so so this is this is the references extra references that i that i uh, i suggest might be helpful and uh, let us come to the maths part now okay uh, in this course we will study the set of real numbers with with uh, additional structure so this course is about study of real number so so before we uh, go to the study part we'll give the will will mention what do we mean by real numbers we'll give some description of real numbers so we we described real numbers in in a in two levels two two levels of description so real numbers for us is is a is a is a, is a set of data with, with two two layers of data the first layer is the following so to start with it it's a set so i mean a set set of real numbers so it's it's supposed to be a set i'm denoting by by r it is supposed to have some c- certain data to associate to it so the first set of data is there are two special elements which i'm denoting by 0 and 1 and there are two binary operations what is binary operation on a set it's a map from a cross a to a and depending on the necessity you ask it to satisfy certain condition but binary operation to i mean the term should all should only mean that there is it's map from a cross a to a binary operation on a set a is a map from a cross a to a it takes two elements of a and gives an element of a so here the operation is on r binary operations on r so we have two uh, maps r cross r to r So the, so the first map, uh, we want it to. We are calling it as a addition map. 
the addition map. So how do we denote that? A comma B, it maps to A plus B. The second map we are calling as the multiplication map. So that is A comma B, this map to A B. So this is the this is about the binary operations on R. So, so the next thing in the description is there are two self maps. One is from R to R. I'll write down that. Two self maps. One is from R to R. This we are calling as the added inverse. This we are denoting by this symbol. A goes to minus a and the other self map is not from r but from the set r minus 0. I said 0 is a special element here, see I mentioned about this 0 here. So I am removing that set the, the element 0 from the set r that is what we mean by r minus 0 to r minus 0. So this we are calling as the multiplicative inverse, multiplicative inverse. So, this is A goes to 1 by A. So, this is the data. Uh, in the sense, R has th this kind of data. There are two special elements, two binary operations and two self maps. Then we want it to satisfy, we want these to be, uh, these to interact in a nice way. I mean, I mean it is not only about uh, this set of real numbers. In general, any mathematical definition if, if there is some uh, a set of data, I mean some one or two, some four or five points in the description of the of a of some structure. The next thing that we ask is all these four, five, fifteen, twenty-five, whatever it is, the number of de descriptions. All these to be interacted in a nice way. In the sense, I'll write down that here. In case of real numbers, we have, we only have three set of data, so we want these to be compatible in the following way. First thing, suppose I take one element A in A belongs to R. So, let us go back and check. Given an element R, an element A in R, we have this minus A. Right, that is what the self map is about. Given element A, we have minus A and we will take these two elements A and minus A and look for the addition map. So, the first condition is for every element A belongs to R, A and minus A adds up to 0 in any order. If you take minus A plus A or A plus minus A, it is supposed to give me 0. This is about added inverse. Now, there is other special element, it is 1, right. Take this special element, we mentioned about the multiplication of, of, of a multiplication map. So, for A belongs to R and 1 is already in R, one can ask what happens to A dot 1 or 1 dot A we want it to be a this is to for all or all, all a so this is this is one of the conditions so for a we have we considered about the alt inverse and the and the element 1 now suppose a is non zero right let me write down it here a belongs to r minus 0 suppose a is non zero this self map gives an element 1 by a right one can of course do the same thing whatever we have done for 1 we can do the same thing for 1 by a also so now we have two elements a and 1 by a one can ask for the multiplication of these two elements a dot 1 by a we want this to be 1 that is same thing as 1 by a dot a so this is the data that we want for each element for each element a belongs to r these conditions are the one that we want to we want it to be uh, satisfied now let us take two elements 
A and B in R, right. This multiplication map and addition map gives two elements. What do they give? It gives A plus B and A B. If you are taking the same order, A comma B goes to A plus B, A comma B goes to A B. Now, let us interchange the order. Let us consider what happens to B, B comma A. It is supposed to go to B plus A. Similarly, B, B comma A goes to B, B A in the multiplication map. We want these two to be same. A plus B same thing as B plus A and A plus B uh, and A B is equal to B A. This is for two elements of R. What do you think we should be doing next time? See, first conditions are concerned about single element. For single element, we have these properties. If it is if it is possibly zero element, these conditions are satisfied. A plus minus A is zero. Same thing as minus A plus A. Other conditions A dot one is equal to one dot A is equal to A. If you observe this condition, A plus B same thing as B plus A, it suggests that you you really need not consider, need not mention about this. Minus A plus A is same thing as A plus minus A. So you can actually ignore this once you take this for granted. Similarly, you can ignore this one dot A if you are taking this for granted. Right? That that's about that is the second set of conditions that we want the the previous maps to be satisfied. Now, for the third condition, uh, yeah, first condition took one element. For second condition, we took two elements. For this, we we'll take three elements: A, B, C in R. So, given three elements, we want some conditions to be satisfied. So, wh wh what is that? Given A, B, C, what we do is we will take first b and c then take then add it up b c add it up after that you add a this is same thing as just add a and b first then add c the same thing is true for multiplication map also take b dot c then multiply by a this is same thing as saying a b multiplied by c so what is this, this is about uh, behavior of addition map with respect to three elements addition map is supposed to take two elements and give some element right so it's not very clear why it should be why the addition map should satisfy this condition so this is an extra condition this is not uh, this doesn't follow from any, uh, from anything similarly multiplication map also if it takes three element multiplication map is supposed to take two elements b and c and give b dot c one can ask if i take three elements how does multiplication map behave with respect to this uh, three elements so that is the condition for this now if you observe the multiplication map and addition map we these two are maximum mark class are two are these are binary operations we want these two to be compatible in the sense uh, if i take two elements b and c add it up multiply by a this is supposed to give me a b plus ac this property is called uh, distributivity and and the other properties that you, you can you can recall if you know some if you know the name name is not relevant here but anyways so that's about the description of r let me clarify one last time r for us is just the following there are two special elements 0 and 1 two binary operations which we are calling as addition map and multiplication map that is supposed to take a comma b to a plus b a comma b to a b and two self maps that takes an element a to minus a an element a that is non zero to 1 by a so these are the data these are the conditions whatever you have done here 1 2 3 and all this right what is the uh, conditions for each element we want this condition to satisfy these two conditions for if, if a is arbitrary element we want a plus a to be 0 similarly 0 plus uh, a plus minus a to be 0 similarly minus a plus a to be 0 and all these conditions that i already said just now there is no point of repeating so this is about the description of r this is the first level of description let us see we will make some observations now first level of observation start with this element one belongs to r given one belongs to r the addition map gives element one what addition map does 
it takes two elements of r and gives an element of r right r cross r to r in particular if i take 1 comma 1 which is an element of r cross r i should get some element right i'm going to be 1 plus 1 this i'm writing as 2 you, you I, I think you know what is 1 plus 1 that is 2 I'm, that's what i'm writing here so 1 plus 1 is 2 so starting with 1 we, we, we got an element 1 plus 1 that is we are writing as 2 similarly for 2 we can write as 2 plus 1 it should be an element in r again that we are writing as 3 so this we, we, we proceed in this way to get the following set 1 2 3 so on so this set we are writing as we are calling as uh, the set of natural numbers we are denoting that by this symbol n so just with the data that r has these properties the previous mentioned properties of two special elements two self maps two, two binary operations we got this special set this is special in the sense that you already know that. so the, the, this is uh, one observation now let us consider the identity inverse r to r we have this map a is mapped to minus a right so the, this is minus a is an element of r for every element a in r in particular for 1 being an element of r we should have minus 1 that should be an element of r right we got other elements 2 3 4 64 whatever we need to get the same thing for we need to get minus of those elements also so we get minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 so on so we we'll, we collect all these elements and write down as dot 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 minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 we'll we'll add the add means we will we'll take the mean of this set also that gives us 1 2 3 so on observe that these two elements the, this 1 and minus 1 2 and minus 2 are related in the sense if they add up you are supposed to get 0 that I am adding here so this set is what we are calling as the set of integers we are writing that by z yeah maybe I will just so, so this is the one of the spe special subsets of R, Z. Now what we do is, see, uh, starting with this element one, we got set of natural numbers. Then considering the uh, arithmetic inverse, we got these integers. Now let us consider the multiplicative inverse. So for each element a belongs to R, that is non-zero, we have one by a, an element of R. In particular, for each of the elements in Z minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 1, 2, 3, so on, except the 0 element, they should be 1 by a, right. For a belongs to z, minus 0 should have 1 by a. I am not saying it belongs to z, I am saying it belongs to r, right, z, z was whatever I mentioned here. For a belongs to z minus 0, 1 by a is an element of r. So, what do we do? Again, we will just combine all these elements. So now what the, the set we have is the following dot 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 minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 3 so on union these inverses multiplicative inverses. So 1 by a such that a belongs to z minus 0. So what we have used till now we, we start with the element uh, the, the element 1, we consider the additive, additive addition map 1 plus 1, 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 and then we repeated that and we got set of natural numbers, right, whatever uh, set of natural numbers. Now uh, the, the next thing what we have done is we consider the additive inverse map, a goes to minus a. Using that map, we got this integers. we used two maps of the description addition three maps addition additive inverse multiplicative inverse what is the remaining thing multiplication map so we will use that for this data 
So, for each element a belongs to z and b belongs to z by uh, z minus 0, we would have a dot 1 by b. This we are writing as simply a by b. So, I am considering all these elements a by b such that a belongs to z, b belongs to z minus 0. This is element of R, right? That's what multiplication map does. It takes two elements of R and gives element of R. A is element of R. If I am taking from Z, B is element of R minus zero. Z minus zero is subset of R minus zero. We should have A dot one by B. So that we are writing as A by B. So this set we are calling as the set of rational numbers. I am writing as Q. Everybody writes as Q. So this is about the third special subset of R that we produce using the using the properties of the, the, the maps that I mentioned before. So, th so this is the basic setup of real numbers, the, the first level of description of real numbers. Okay. Now, for the second level of description that I mentioned here right in the beginning that the set of the, the real numbers that we are where we want to work with, it has two levels of description. One, well, first level is the one that I mentioned just now. There are two special elements, two binary operations, two self maps with the conditions that, that we are following uh, that we mentioned before. And we also said just with that description, we got two, three special subsets of R, natural numbers, integers, rational numbers. Now, let us go to the second uh, level of description. For that, we need to talk about to, to mention the description, we need the notion of what is called order. Order on a set. So let us start with the set, say, some set A. An order on this set A is a subset of the Cartesian product of A. Given a given a set A, an order on the set A is a subset of A cross A. Satisfying certain conditions. See th this type of describing a structure on a set A, describing a structure is, is not new to you. In the sense, you might have already seen this kind of description, maybe in your initial years. So, so what what is a function from A to B? If you are given two sets A and B, a function from A to B is a subset of A cross B, right? With certain conditions, you you need to be nice subset of A, cro a cross B. Then you call that to be function. In this case, we have a set A, consider the Cartesian product A cross A, and we are saying a subset of uh, A cross A is special, we are calling it as an order if, there, if it satisfies certain conditions. So, we will say what are the conditions. See, be, before even uh, proceeding for the, for the condition it, it should satisfy, you should be able to make some guess when something, when such kind of description that we are expecting, we, we are expecting that S to be special in some sense some obvious things should happen. I mean some things you, you, you learn by experience. So the, so, the first level, first condition is the following. It starts with an element A belongs to R. See given an A belongs to A, there is a special element A, a comma A, right? this is special. We want this to be in S. For every A belongs to A, we want a comma a to be element of s, right? S was a subset of a, a cross a, and we want uh, s to contain this kind of elements a comma a for every a belongs to a. So this is the first description. Second level of second uh, condition that we wanted to satisfy is the following. See what did we do for the <laughs> conditions we mentioned about this R? First condition was about single element of R, right? For single element, we mentioned some condition. For the second condition, we took two elements, mentioned some condition. We will do the same thing here also. For every A comma B in A, something should happen, right? So, what is it? We want S to be special in the sense 
that if a comma b the pair is in s at the same time b comma a is also in the set then we want a to be b same thing as b we don't want two different elements so that the corresponding order pair a comma b, b comma a both are in s we don't want that kind of situation that is the special the, that is the speciality of the set that of the set yes that we are asking for it to be in order so that is the that is the no, let me write down this b correctly it looks like 6 still it looks like something else but yeah see, see please re, re, read this as b and this all this has b this has r okay now we need one more condition what is the third condition what is what should be the third condition if if you are if you are just trying to remember what you have done for the set of uh, real numbers third condition is something to do with three elements of r same thing here for three elements for every a b c and a we want something to we want something to we want some condition to be satisfied so what is the condition suppose a comma b is element of s b comma a is element of s then we want not b comma a what is it b comma c b comma a already mentioned here right a b b a both are in s then i already mentioned about the condition so this is about three elements a comma b belongs to s b comma c belongs to s then we want a comma c to be an element of s if a subset of a cross a satisfies these conditions then we want then then we are calling yes to be an order on the set a okay uh, maybe let us do some examples that is one example maybe i'll i'll make it as an exercise yeah so what is the exercise take a set x consider the power set of x i'm mentioning i'll mention about some special subset of uh, this cartesian product px cross px i i i'll declare some set so so what is the description of s is a, uh, an element a comma b a pair a comma b from p cross px to p px cross pc px is an element of s if a is subset of b this is the uh, description of s take two elements a comma b from, from power set of x a and b from power set of x a comma b is an element of s if a is subset of b this is the description of s check if this uh, s is an order on this set or not you should try this otherwise how do you learn something okay the, the description i mentioned already before that this, this these are the conditions all you need to do is you need to check if i if i take two elements of this form whether it satisfy the conditions mentioned before or not so that's about the order on a set let us come back to the real the real uh, numbers uh, situation so what was the uh, see i said i'm going to say something about the second level of description of r then i mentioned about order on a arbitrary set so we'll restrict our attention to the order on a set r order on the set r so s yes, subset of r cross r see it, there may be many orders on, on the set r but we want to focus our attention to orders on r that are compatible with the previous description of r see the, the, the same idea i i already mentioned in the, in the same lecture before once once we give some data some collection of data some three four data in the as in the case of a set of real numbers you see there are uh, special element binary operations and self maps what we said is we want this to be compatible whenever we write about binary operation and the self maps we want all this to be compatible similarly when i am saying something about 
in a system structure on r as a subset of r cross r subset of r cross r this is an order i want this to have something to do with the previous description of r we want s to be compatible with the previous description of r what was the description r was r is is something that comes with the following structure there is a, there are two special elements 0 1 the addition map the multiplication map additive inverse multiplicative inverse right we want this uh, subset of r cross r this order to be compatible with this this description including 0 this description what do you mean by that that's what we will see in the next next lecture so this is this is where we uh, we, we stop this lecture about uh, so what what you have done today is just the first level of description of r i am not planning to do, i was not planning to do many things in the in the first lecture itself uh, yeah so 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 that that will be about that is all about today's session of real analysis uh, in the, in the next uh, session we will we will see what do we, what do we mean by compatibility between an order on r with the other description with the first level of with the first level of description on r and we will see some more some more uh, other things also see one question that you need to ask yourself is okay fine r we start with as a as a subset of as a, as a, as a set with with certain data two special elements etc then what we have seen is we produce three special subsets yeah uh, the, where is this? z natural numbers and the rational numbers now obvious question to ask is okay you, you are talking about an order on r and you are saying it is special what do we get from that in the sense maybe i will write some some symbols think about whether you will able to recognize the symbols or not what about this You, you might you might know you might have seen these symbols at some place root 2 root 3 root 5 cube root 2 etc and they are they are said to be in elements of r right once we assume that there is a nice order on r that is compatible with these elements this description of r 0 1 plus dot Added inverse, multiplicate inverse. Use, once you assume that I, there is a nice yes, then we will be able to prove that we will give meaning for this kind of symbols. We will prove that there are elements of R. Root 2, whatever it might mean, it is an element of R. See, this is not clear with the just the description of R. I do not know why root 2, I do not even know what is the definition of root 2. We will see the definition of root 2 and we will also prove that it is element of r similarly root 3 root 5 etc similar things we will be able to prove now you might have seen the other symbols also right some some symbols like this e pi log 2 whatever we will also see put a circle before put some <laughs> yeah we will also see the board we will also describe whatever these symbols mean what is pi what, what does it mean to say i do not know what pi is we will see what is e what is uh, log 2 we will see in the in the course this this will take some for this you need to wait for some time but uh, this root 2 root 3 and all that that we will see maybe in a couple of lectures maybe in less than 5 lectures we will we'll see what is root 2 what is root 3 how they are described what is the definition and, and yeah why did I say about all this? This is the justification for introducing the order. Only when the order is only when the order yes is nice, only then this kind of thing happens. And uh, that's all for today. We'll meet in the next session.